And we've got action non-stop. We move it along the line, Dave, to, well, what do you say about this man? Yeah, probably pound for pound, best driver in the world right now. It's an argument, but it's, it's one that you won't have for very long. He's won everything. Three-time US champion, seven-time European champion, and back this year to prove a point. He's had one lap of practice in this car, so he's going to have to do this track all on experience. But luckily for him, he is the most winningest driver on this circuit, so not in this car. This is a lot for James Dean to take in in one go, but he's got to try and make it work. Fires into that first car, throws in massive angle from James Dean through the first car. It's the biggest angle we've seen from anyone through there, and he doesn't look like that practice has phased him. A little bit of a wobble into that outer zone. You can see him working the steering wheel quite a bit there. Maybe a little bit more work to do. He's got a big flick towards the wall, and he sends it to the wall, scrapes the bump for full throttle and pushes that car all the way out. That is as much angle as you can put into a run. Scores are in. Number one in qualifying with a 93 straight off the bat. 93 for James Dean. To the start line, we've got James Dean who has scored a 93 on his first run, but at the moment that is sitting him down in you know fourth, fifth position. So he's got to improve, but he's in the show. So is this James Dean, you know, with the filter off. Is this, I mean, it put so much angle into the first run, it was pretty incredible. But can he go even bigger? What does James Dean do now to try and get between 95 and 100 to try and top qualifying and make, and make a statement? He has nothing to lose here, so this is him at his max. Well, I mean, he's going to have to risk it, Dave. He's going to try and risk it all to try and put down that big qualifying score and top qualifying here. Smokes the tires, big angle on initiation. James Dean absolutely flying. He's coming in swinging. He goes very wide in outside zone four but keeps it on track keeps all four wheels on the tarmac as he fires across the track once again looks for the wall james dean takes the rear light out of the car looks for the last wall just shy of it but he gets the job done no oh, it's it's just beautiful wall <laughs> So uh, 98 for James to the line To a big one for this young man, Christian Erlson. We've seen him struggle for years, Dave, to get into qualifying, to calm them nerves, to get himself into the show. He gets into the show, his first big show ever, and he says, I get James Dean, how is your luck? <laughs> he goes up against the pound for pound best in the world right now, James Dean. A full season of Drift Masters ahead of him, wants to win this championship. He wants to be an eight-time European champion. He's a three-time US champion. I could go on all day. The most decorated and winningest driver in the history of drifting is James Dean. You know what, he's had his own issues yesterday. He's qualified in second position. He now leads this battle out. Erlinson, nothing to lose here. No, nothing to lose, everything to gain. And this will be a show reel for Christian Erlinson for the rest of the season. But he's been put on a show in practice. Can he hold it together against the world's greatest? And James Dean fires on big angle. Christian Erlinson knows he can't hang that much, so he shallows up the angle. He's going to shortcut the circuit, though. Oh, puts himself into a spin as James Dean keeps foot to floor. Transitions into the outside zone, up into the wall goes James Dean. Absolutely pinpoint perfect as always. James Dean brings it home across the line, fifth up to the crowd, and says, Well, that's one in the bag. You think about that pressure, all that eight, nine hundred horsepower coming through the prop shaft, coming to the diff, and then getting sent on these very small pieces of metal to the wheels, and one of them just twisted into a pretzel, popped, and that is the end of his weekend. James Dean told, You've won the battle, James. Do you want to go do something fun for the crowd? And he goes, You know what? I'm in my home country, why wouldn't I? So I think you're gonna see an unhinged James Dean here. He knows this doesn't count. He's probably gonna push it to the absolute extreme. And what you're gonna see for the next 50 seconds is a master of his craft at work. Yeah, I mean, look, James Dean will feel a little bit more relaxed now getting through that first top 32 battle. And he always says, you know, you get the first one out of the way, the rest kind of just follow suit and things just start to fall in place. So James Dean now will just uh, make a pass of the circuit just for the regulations. And there we go, James Dean. I'll put on a show for the crowds in attendance, Dave. Yeah, well, this is going to be a show. Look at the big flag. James Dean comes in here. 90 degrees. Through the first corner comes James Dean. He knows this one doesn't count. He's going to put this one to the walls. This is for everybody in attendance. This is for all the support he gets here in Ireland whenever he competes all over the world. He likes putting on a show, and he's got the confidence to do it. As you can see, oh, on the front brake, slowing down the run and just putting on a show for the fans. Big smoke for the fans. And you can see he's saying, you know what, guys? I got this for the rest of the evening. I'm going to put a fight on. There's a little donut for all the fans in attendance. He's got it in the bag. Wow. I think he smoked himself he smoked up, himself, so he, can't he couldn't even see, see where he's going. Yeah, he couldn't see where he's going. 
It certainly is. And talking about interested, David, go back to the start line. It will be the one and only, the machine, James Dean, to take on Andreas Vasiliaskas. Lithuania in the house. I can see a lot of Lithuanian flags zip tied to the fence, Dave. Absolutely. And I'll tell you one thing if you've got to put your money on a Lithuanian driver to take down James Dean, it would be Andreas Vasiliaskas. He is not afraid of James Dean here one bit. No. He's been on the same grid as him for probably 10 plus years. He's beaten him in the past. And James Dean will know what threat this is. Yeah, he will know the threat this is. And he knows he has got a very very, very capable car and he is a very, very capable driver. Here we go. James Dean sits in the car nervously awaiting the door slam shut on the E46 BMW of Andreas Vasiliaskas. The lights light up. Here we go. Both cars dip down as the power is put to grip and grip. He throws these cars down the start line. Oh! Vasiliaskas almost makes contact on initiation. He mucks himself up. He puts himself up fault there as James Dean holds solid, gets into the outside zone. Now Vasiliaskas has to hold on to it. Shortcuts the circuit, looks for the front wheel, goes for a brave transition as Dean sticks the back end to the wall. Vasiliaskas gets lost in the smoke. Can he drag it back in? I don't think Vasiliaskas has got the grip. Wow, what a run from two of the greats of European drifting, James Dean. James Dean has that carbon Kevlar body kit. This is actually, if you don't know, this is actually an S14 with an S15 front and rear end. Try and get your head around that. He calls it the S14.9 because it's almost an S15. Now he's now going to be in the chase position and I think he's hungry for this one. I think he wants to take down Vasiliaskas right from the off. Yeah, he's going to go for it, Dave. Look at this, goes on to the back bumper. Vasiliaskas, nice, fast initiation. But look at Dean, higher up, higher into that outside zone as they fire through now. Vasiliaskas falls short of the outside zone. You can see Dean having to adjust, having to think about where Vasiliaskas is going to position that car on track. Vasiliaskas goes for the wall, clinical as always, but he falls out of the outside zone again. He's trying to drive away from Dean, but he's making a mess of it. Not the cleanest of lead runs there. James Dean having to adapt a little bit. I mean, I saw James take a couple of hesitations in the chase position as well. It was a, it was a bit of a scrappy one. So our judges having a little bit of a deliberation there of who's going to go through to the top eight. James Dean's all smiles. Vasiliauskas all smiles. And one of them won't be all smiles in a couple of moments when we see the result drop in. Going through to the top eight, who's going to get the call from our three judges? It's going to be James Dean getting the call and going through to the top eight. He will make up one of the challengers to take down the 20 years of undefeated um, drifting action here in Ireland. But here's a man that would love to do it in style, Kuba Pershkonski. He's taken down the current WRC rally uh, points leader. Now can he take down the best of the world in drifting? It is James Dean in the lead position, Pershkonski in the chase position. Expect fireworks from the off as they fire into that first one. Big angle from James Dean. Pershkonski now coming as fast as he can. Oh, Dean drops as wide as he can off the track. And now, Look at Pushkowski making an error in the chase position, catching back up onto the door. You see Pushkowski just wobble a little in the chase position now. Pushkowski, wow, what a dive, but a little bit of a wobble again. Dean on massive angle as he comes through that last corner. And James Dean across the line, Pushkowski right with him. Well, I mean... We're supposed to put words to this. I don't understand <laughs> if that's possible sometimes. The angle that James Dean is How? carrying, it's... I don't even know... Like, Look at what, this. He's almost on... 70, 80 degrees of angle. And watch this as he comes through here. He does wash a little wider. That white line will be a deduction. He puts two wheels over that. But watch Pishkonski. As he comes through, he jumps forward. The car grips up. And then he gets really up close and personal with James Dean. But he's front wheel to front wheel. It's not ideal. And then on the transition, a little straighten as well. So a little bit of an error creeping into Pishkonski's run. And Dean now. Well, he'd love to put out Pishkonski because Pishkonski is a real threat to all the Irish drivers here. But James Dean is also thinking about his championship. And a top four finish would be pretty nice for him to start. Pishkonski, though, we counted him out against Rogan Perra. And he came through and won the battle. So, you know, at your peril, will you count him out here? Yeah, you can't count Pushkonski out of this fight at the moment. There was an error, though, from Pushkonski as they come up onto that first wall run. He did make an error. There was a, a moment of straightening, a little flicker. He had to readjust the car. Is he on the ropes a little bit? Is this where he may falter? James Dean will be hungry for this one. They get the signal all round. They look down for the lights, Dave. Here we go. James Dean off the line. Pushkonski in the lead position. James Dean side by side. But Pushkonski as they come over the hill. Look at James Dean almost contact. Dean almost makes a mistake. Pushkonski. That was insane on entry from James Dean. Never seen anyone go that close on that corner. Now Dean up onto the door, pushing Pushkonski around the track. Dean diving through the smoke and trying to get up onto the door. Pushkonski with a perfect lead run on the outside line there. Dean just not having the pace for Pushkonski across the line. We are watching the best of the best go head to head here. He took the risk. 
And James Dean inspects the front of his car, knowing that was the contact on that battle. I just, you know, you've got to say, 100 mile an hour tips, punches to the back Look of the car. Look at the intercooler. He bent the intercooler down. He's, bent the He's intercooler caused some half. damage to the intercooler. So James Dean will await the judges' results. Here we go. Who's going through to the top four? It's James Dean getting the win and going through to the top the four. Moment, you can see Vincek down there warming up the tyres on the back of that S15. He pulls to the line, Dave. We are seconds away from this one going off the line. Here we go. The heat indicator points towards James Dean. The proximity sensor that says that 99% of it is all for the chase of Vysek side. And you know what? 20 years of history comes down to two of the best drivers in European drift history. The two most decorated, the two most successful go head to head. And you can see the nerves. These guys know how good the other driver is. They know the machinery they're bringing to that start line. Dean points to the marshal and says, I'm ready for this. Vyansek's ready for this. Mondello Park is ready for this. As James Dean gets the green light, comes through the gears, and Vyansek's right with him. He's following into that first corner. Dean with the big flick into the first corner. Vyansek's right there with a huge angle from James Dean as Vyansek now throws it on the door big time for Peter Vyansek as they transition to the outer zone. Vyansek right there with Dean, but Dean's on the perfect line in the lead. Vyansek now starting to make the move, and look at the oh, big dive from Peter Vyansek. Vyansek puts two or one wheel off the track and Dean pushes it across the line, nothing in it. Wow, what a chase, what an incredible lead from Dean. I know they can hear me on the PA, so I'm going to ask the grandstand to get on their feet for this one. This is as big as it gets. Everybody's on their feet for this huge moment for Irish drifting. James Dean in the chase position has to throw the kitchen sink at this. And he's off the line, he's past Vinesek on the run. And look at this, he's gone past him again. This is very good for James Dean as they come into that first corner. Dean on the inside of the corner, Vinesek wide on the corner. Dean making some big moves now, big dive from Dean as he floats up onto the door. James Dean right with Peter Vyansek as they transition back onto the wall they go. James Dean puts it onto the door as close as he possibly can. Unbelievable. You talk about world-class drifting. There are two of the greatest drivers that we will ever see, Dave. We are privileged to be watching this level of talent put on a show at this level. It's as good as it gets anywhere in the world, and I'll argue that to any man on any day. Dean versus Fiancek, wheels off track. Judges having a look at everything. Here we go. Who's getting the call? And it's Peter Fiancek getting the call. Peter Fiancek goes to the final for Oliver Randalu and Peter Fiancek, history made here in Mandelo Park. And James Dean, he gave it everything. He put it all on the line but it wasn't to be on this occasion. It just wasn't to be, Dave. It was an incredible battle, but James Dean taking those two wheels off track. I'm gonna throw it to Kevin. He's asking me to talk. Kevin, it's over to you. Yeah, it was a fantastic battle by Border Drive. Jack Shanahan is the higher qualifier. Your first place qualifier takes on your second place qualifier for third step on the podium. Our start line marshal takes a quick look around the cars to make sure they are safe and ready to go. And as soon as he is happy, we will get the lights lit up and we will light up Mondello Park for one awesome third place playoff. I mean, either of these guys going home without a, tro a trophy is pretty criminal, but third step on the podium is what both of them want. Dean gives the thumbs up to Shanahan. Shanahan gives the thumbs up to Dean. They're ready to rock and roll here at Mandela, and Dean's off the line and ahead of Shanahan on the running. As Jack Shanahan pulls it through the gears, Dean fires in in the chase position, and Jack Shanahan's on 90 degrees of Oh! Massive, massive error from Jack Shanahan as he ends up in the tires. What happened there? Big mistake from, Jay, from Jack Shanahan. Trying too hard there, Dave pushed the car too much. He knew James was gonna be there. He knew he was gonna be onto the door. I'm not sure what happened. I mean, that's probably pushing the limit too far. Jack Shannon went in on 90 degrees of angle. Does he have a mechanical issue? Or is it a case that we're gonna see the second half of this run? Jack Shanahan is uh, obviously flustered. You know, he's, it's not gone the way he wanted here at the first round. Um, but I mean, top four finish would still be a phenomenal finish with the level of driving we have here, the level of competitiveness. Oh, I can see James Dean saying to him, Martin, our star line marshal, giving him the X. Is he saying he's out? Is he oh, saying so that? We, I forgot, I've got the information. Bent a steering rack on initiation. Oh, 
mad. Bent the steering rack, steering jammed when it won on full lock, lock and it didn't come back. That's why the car snapped around. The oh, Shanahan's this weekend, Dave, having some serious issues. So, looks like it will be a solo run for James be, Dean. Yeah, it's going to be third step on the podium for James Dean. He's going to put a show on for the fans here in attendance and uh, not the way he wanted to earn it, but um, he'll take it. I think you're going to see a spectacular run of the circuit from James Dean here as he's off the line to claim his third step on the podium. James Dean firing it in. Look at this, James Dean flicking the car left to right all the way down. Big angle initiation, James Dean putting on a show here at Drift Masters European Championship round one. And James Dean stands on the foot brake, lights up the tyres and starts to fill the sky with smoke as James Dean hangs the spoiler over the wall and finishes it off in spectacular style. Wave into the fans here at Mondello Park. James Dean, Dave, an incredible drive.